Imagine if your brain forgot your childhood every single time you learned something new. Terrifying, right? Well, that's exactly what's been happening to AI this entire time. But Google just dropped a bombshell that changes everything. And honestly, this might be the closest we've ever been to AGI. Let me explain. So here's the dirty little secret Mobody talks about. ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, all these genius AI models, they have the memory of a goldfish on vacation. Picture this. You're at a party telling your friend an epic story. Halfway through, they interrupt and say, wait, who are you again? That's AI right now. The longer the conversation, the more they forget. It's like trying to read a mystery novel, but every chapter erases the previous one. By the time you reach the butler did it, you've forgotten there was a butler. This isn't a bug. It's a fundamental flaw in how AI works. The technology behind these models, called transformers, literally gets exponentially slower and more expensive the more information it tries to remember. It's like your brain charging you rent for every memory you store. Eventually, you go bankrupt. But then, Google walks in, like, hold my coffee. They just published two research papers that might have cracked the code. Titans and Miras. And no, these aren't rejected Marvel characters. They're the blueprint for giving AI actual long-term memory. Think of Titans as the tool, the actual architecture that makes it work. And Miras, that's the instruction manual, the theoretical framework showing us why it works and how to build even better versions. Together, they introduce something called test time memorization. Fancy words for the AI can learn and remember stuff while it's running without needing to go back to AI school for retraining. It's like if you could download Kung Fu directly into your brain, Matrix style, while you're in the middle of a fight. Here's where it gets wild. Titans literally copies how your brain works. Scientists have known for decades that humans don't have one big memory blog. We have different memory systems doing different jobs, like a well-organized office instead of a chaotic junk drawer. Titans has three memory layers, just like us. Layer one, long-term memory, the librarian. This is the deep stuff. Instead of using a simple list of numbers like old AI models, basically a grocery list, Titans uses a multi-layer perceptron. That's a fancy term for a mini brain inside the big brain. This layer doesn't just record facts like a security camera. It learns patterns, themes, connections. If you mention Bob the tall guy on page one and the tall man on page 500, this layer goes, oh, same dude. It's Sherlock Holmes level deduction. Layer two, short term memory, the spotlight. This is your what did I just say memory? It handles immediate context, like when someone asks, what was the last word I said? This layer is the same attention mechanism that made Transformers famous. It's great at precision, but terrible at marathons. Layer three, persistent memory, the instincts. This is your foundational knowledge, the stuff baked in during training that never changes. Things like fire is hot, dogs are animals, and pineapple on pizza is controversial. This is your AI's common sense. The magic happens when all three work together. It's like having a full-blown research team inside the AI. One person remembers everything from the past, one focuses on what's happening now, and one provides the foundational knowledge to make sense of it all. Let's continue with the surprise metric. But here's the coolest part. Titans has a surprise metric. Think about your memory. Do you remember brushing your teeth last Tuesday? Probably not. But do you remember that time a pigeon stole your sandwich? Absolutely. Your brain prioritizes unexpected stuff and ignores boring, routine nonsense. Titans does the same thing. When new information comes in, Titans asks, is this surprising? Low surprise, oh, another cat picture, yawn, skip. High surprise, wait, there's a banana peel in this financial report? Memorize this immediately. It uses something called gradient as a mathematical surprise detector. The bigger the difference between what it expects and what it sees, the more important it treats that information. It's like your brain's WTF alarm going off. Plus, Titans uses momentum, considering the recent flow of context 
and forgetting, using adaptive weight decay to dump irrelevant old stuff. Because let's be honest, if you remembered every single moment of your life, you'd be a useless, overwhelmed mess. Now let's talk about Miras, the theoretical genius behind all this. Miras basically looked at every major AI breakthrough, Transformers, RNNs, Mamba, all of them, and said, you're all doing the same thing, just with different outfits. Imagine a hundred car companies claiming their cars are revolutionary. Then an engineer walks in and says, guys, you all have four wheels, an engine, and a steering wheel. You're just painting them different colors. That's Miras. It reveals that every single sequence model is secretly building the same thing. Associative memory. A system that connects inputs to outputs, questions to answers, keys to values. Miras breaks it down into four fundamental design choices. One, memory architecture, where you store the info. Two, attentional bias, what you decide to pay attention to. Three, the retention gate, what you choose to forget. And four, the memory algorithm, how you update what you remember. And here's the kicker. Almost every AI until now has used something called mean squared error for attention and retention. It works, but it's super sensitive to outliers. A single typo can throw the entire thing off. Miras opens the door to exploring powerful alternatives, like using Huber loss, which is more forgiving, or generalized norms for stricter math, or even probability distributions for more balanced updates. This is like upgrading from a flip phone to a smartphone. Okay, enough theory. Does it actually work? Oh, it works. It destroys the competition. There's this benchmark called baby long. It's a brutal test where facts are hidden throughout massive documents, over 2 million tokens worth. That's multiple books, and the AI has to find and connect them. GPT-4, one of the most powerful, expensive AI models on Earth, crashes. Hard. Its accuracy drops to basically useless as the documents get longer. Mamba and the other models, same story. They just can't handle it. But Titans, look at that line. It stays high even at extreme lengths where everything else has failed. And remember, Titans is way smaller than GPT-4. A fraction of the size, a fraction of the cost, yet it beats GPT-4 by huge margins. It's like a lightweight boxer knocking out a heavyweight champion. Embarrassing for GPT-4, honestly. So why does this matter to you? Think about all the places where AI needs to understand long context. Lawyers sifting through contracts that are hundreds of pages long. Doctors reviewing decades of a patient's medical history. Scientists pulling from research papers that build on years of previous work. Coders navigating massive code bases. Even personal assistants just trying to remember months of conversations with you. Right now, AI can't handle any of this well. But Titans, it opens doors to applications that were literally impossible before. This isn't just an incremental improvement. This is a leap toward AGI. We're moving toward AI with memory systems like ours. Systems that learn, adapt, prioritize, and forget strategically. Systems that don't just process information, but truly understand it. Google didn't just solve AI's memory problem. They gave AI a brain that works like yours. And that, that is how we get to AGI. The future just got a whole lot closer.